Hey guys, I'm Linda Weir. And I'm Marcus Adkins. And we're with Orlando Microgreens. We started this less than two months ago. Right. <laughs> yeah. Today's date is May 27th. It's Wednesday, mm -hmm. uh, 2.22 <laughs> in the afternoon. Uh, but we wanted to put this together so we could introduce ourselves to you, give you a little bit of information about who we are and why we're doing what we're doing. Um, you probably see a lot of people out there on YouTube and Instagram and so forth, and they're growing microgreens, people making 10,000, 100,000 from their basement, mm -hmm. Marcus. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> from a bedroom. From a basement. From a basement. From mm -hmm. a garage next to their car. From a trailer. Yeah. A so trailer. That's the best one. Yeah. On they the grow. On the grow. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You guys saved us a lot of time. We appreciate you. Yeah. We we did watch your videos. We watched a lot of videos, read a lot of books. I wonder how many of you have gone down that YouTube rabbit hole while you've been looking into microgreens. We hope to be one of them to help you out. You guys can watch our journey as we go. As we grow. As we grow, you can watch us grow. <laughs> <laughs> that's really how it is. Huh? That's what our goal is. And why did we start it, Marcus? Well, COVID. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> COVID-19. <laughs> the last day we worked was about Friday the 13th. Of March, yeah. In March. And we weren't feeling so well. So around, they were told, they told us not to come in if we didn't feel so well. So yeah. by that Thursday, I had gotten mm -hmm. the phone call, found out I lost my job. Mm -hmm. I'd been four and a half years with a Fortune 500 company. I was one of the top sales agents, just like she was. Yeah, it was good and times. We motivated each other, didn't <laughs> we? we? How, many, each other. how many you got? We sit right side Are by you on side. Team yet? <laughs> <laughs> Great and, encouragement. <laughs> right? So then I had worked my way into a training position and I was a coach for the salesman and they had put me through a leadership program. And then I, it all ended. So yeah, done, son. I sat there Friday, I think Thursday, I was pretty miserable and in mm -hmm. shock. And that Friday I um, started telling her I needed to start something. Something needed to happen. So by that Saturday, I let's go with microgreens. Yeah. We already knew what we were doing with the microgreens, so that helped. Um, and we're excited. We're excited to be invited. <laughs> it's a new journey. <laughs> yeah. And this. the types of microgreens, Marcus. The types. The yeah. types. What do well, we grow, Marcus? We grow all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got too many right now. We're doing what, broccoli, broccoli, radish, basil, wheatgrass. cilantro, wheatgrass, alfalfa, Beets. mustard, wasabi. Mm. Beets, yeah, leeks, leeks <laughs> chives, um, what have we hope not started our red vein sorrel yet? Mm. I can't wait to try that. that and this is our third video, really. Yeah. That will be on YouTube. We've got a handful we've started and a lot more coming. And you're probably watching this um, because you want to know what we went through, what we're going through, our thoughts, um, hopefully to learn from maybe our mistakes, not our mistakes, because we make mistakes. Absolutely. But what we find in those videos that we've watched on YouTube, it's like no one makes mistakes, really. Nobody ever. Like, <laughs> but we don't get to see that part. So we're gonna show you that part. We'll see is how my it point. Goes. Yeah, we wanna show you the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. Yeah. Maybe get into some of the technical stuff. I have been working on a video, how we do our um, spreadsheets, how we um, track our harvest so everything started at the right time and everything's ready to harvest and that's another thing that's going to take that's taken us is, yeah. is figuring out how long it takes to grow the certain varieties in your environment is very very different than anything you've seen in Orlando Florida here everybody's environment is so much different mm -hmm. like Donnie Green's up in New York I'm sure his humidity level is a little lower than ours mm. yeah <laughs> than Florida New York yeah. Florida yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Texas, I'm sure on the grill, I'm sure they got similar to deal a with. Little, yeah, dry. Yeah, I don't, so, I'm not sure if it's humid or not. It's I, hot out there, I know it that. Is. I know, I get nosebleeds. I was living up there. Texas. I lived out there in Dallas for a minute, so I know that it's yeah, hot. It's not bueno. Um, but there's so many questions, concerns, thoughts before actually starting a mic microgreen company. Um, and a lot also before doing it for yourself personally. Um, you know, some of the key is, um, key essential uh what you would need you know yeah. whether it's uh plates bowls containers you could grow it in anything and put it on a windowsill so if you're doing it for yourself yeah that really well, we want to cover some of that too because sometimes they grow better when you just take a plate a handful of topsoil yeah throw the seeds in there and wet it and put it on your countertop and sometimes that's some of the best ones we grow yeah <laughs> it's like, i did that yeah <laughs> <laughs> right. so 
So we hope that um, we, we hope can we answer can, a lot of your questions. We hope we can help you save some time. We hope that you can help us save some time. Mm -hmm. We'll probably entertain you. <laughs> well, you could always point out, you know, like, hey, maybe this should be done this way or, you know, like. Please leave comments and suggestions absolutely. about how we should be doing it. Like we want to grow. We yeah. want to enjoy. We want to um, fill the community with knowledge and, you know, just a healthy, happy life. Um, we also started a delivery mm -hmm. for Orlando Microgreens. Yes, we're delivering. And how many deliveries have we done, Marcus? This is exciting. How many It's exciting because we, we got like five orders through our website, yeah. organic. We haven't started advertising. Because I started the Facebook earlier than we were supposed to. And the Instagram, and, but that's okay. And the YouTube. And the, like, yeah. Let's do it. We'll figure it out. Marcus <laughs> She's is like, like, no, let's think about it. I'm like, let's, we'll think about it after it's it. up. Yeah. We'll fix it. We'll figure it out. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and a lot of it does come down to get up and do it. Start doing it. Whatever it is, start planting some seeds you have today. To. Absolutely. Order that shelf. Order the lights that you want. Yeah. You know? Don't make excuses of why you can't <laughs> or yeah. what's going to prevent you from growing. Um, because at the end of the day, this um, position that we have taken on, this little business, is daily. Every day, you're either seeding, planting, studying, you know, like what to do with your Instagram and your YouTubes. And I mean, we manage That's everything, the social website, media social whole. media, we do the growing, the whole enchilada, we do everything. We well, don't they, outsource anything. They say when you start a business, you wear 500 hats. And we're wearing 600, okay? <laughs> Seriously, he gets up that's at six in the morning and that's just from giving some love to the microgreens yeah. and going in his diary, a grow diary. Yeah. I highly recommend a grow diary. You have diary. to track it all. I mean, there's so many times that I pulled something out off the shelf and I'm like, what's going on here? Why is this like this? And I'll go back through the steps and go, okay, I did this. I should have done that. Be aware. Yeah. yeah. Have to be aware. And then also be meticulous. I mean, we have to keep everything clean, everything sterile, everything a right temperature, every, you know, so it is work. It is thought. It is something that I hope you love and enjoy because that's the best job, isn't yeah, it? Work, so they yeah. say. So it yeah. has been. Like I said, we're doing Facebook, Instagram. Um, we're doing We've got our website, orlandomicrogreens.com, up and running. We are doing local deliveries here in the Orlando area of our microgreens. Everything's online, uh, whether you just want to enjoy it flat rate or subscription. Um, we've worked hard on that website. So look it up, check it out. It's also got recipes. Our goal is to start showing, like, we love to go uh, cook out in the woods on oh, yeah. grill. So yeah, we're hoping to bring you along for some lifestyle stuff here in yeah, Florida. Maybe a little bit of the springs we go to. We always like to cook while we're out there and hopefully bring the we'll microgreens. Microgreen videos yeah. right there on location here. And it's a beautiful state. We've got some amazing spots that we go to often. Yeah, and we have some friends here that have restaurants and stuff, and we want to do videos with them. And yeah. that's going to be in fun their too. Beautiful kitchen. You know, this isn't a business that you just take off, you do have to have a plan, like a, a marketing plan. You you do want to have to want this too. And she's got to keep up with the planning of trying to plan a step ahead of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I did it. Plan it. Fix it. What are we doing next, Linda? Well, I'm still planning it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're, we're looking into the farmer's markets right now. We've got a few of them that we've mm -hmm. got our eye on. Um, we're kind of trying to figure out which one to go to first and see what the what's going on. People are kind of slowly coming around right now. So we definitely want to get out there. We do. But this is going to be a cost that you might want to consider, too, because then you're going to need tent, table. Yeah. Maybe you can go get it from somebody, borrow yes. it, whatever. But gas, time, getting the product to the event, getting yeah. it. Back to the event, because we've got just regular sized cars, no vans. So, you know, calculating, are we going to rent a van for the day? That's a whole nother um, cost project, yeah. you know, if you will. Like, Absolutely. what's going to be our ROI on that? Yeah. <laughs> a lot to that. And so far, um, not too shabby. Oh. oh, and back to our first order, huh? Our first order. So anyways, we're standing <laughs> in Walmart. <laughs> you don't remember? And I'm like, Marcus there is a order on here i thought i shut the subscription the um i thought i had it in test mode yes i'm like no i took it off test mode a couple days ago she's like well we got an order we got a real order <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was 
still in test mode. <laughs> Me's like, no, it's not in test mode. Right. That's a real order. But that was exciting to get our first order standing there. And I get this message on my phone. Right. Yeah. Order. Happened to be a personal chef. And then he was then a I got a call chef. from another um, through inst- because of an Instagram pro- post, got the next call from somebody. Mm hmm. And yeah. then a, a friend got in touch with us, was really, really excited about it. And then I have a couple of catering friends that they wanted a little bit. So we've got a little bit going through, mm-hmm. a little more. We're trying to make sure we're not taking on more than we want to take on. We definitely don't want to be priced so low that we're just working. That's not. another thing you got to take into ca- you know, consideration because you don't see that out on the YouTube videos neither. Is how do you price your microgreens? But, yeah, it's hard to price them. It's not it, what we do is going to be totally different than what you do, and it takes a lot of time for someone to figure out pricing and yield and how you're going to package it. It's another cost. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't have that, did we? <laughs> we didn't have labels. We didn't have packaging. We didn't have um, bags. We didn't have. We didn't have all those trays. We had to add more trays. There's a lot of, you know, so you guys, if you're going to go into this, definitely, you know, um, have a checklist. We did. We we had the business plan that we started. Yeah, we so we kept working off that. That yeah. helped well. That kind of was a great start. And it's gone well with a couple, well, we've been working on a couple of interviews. You'll see them too. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, uh, if people ask them to interview us with what we're doing. So mm-hmm. that's we're looking awesome. forward to that. And um, uh, also to your um yeah i'm gonna work on a couple spreadsheets videos to show you how we're kind of tracking our harvest dates and seeding and um when to sow the seeds how long they take how which, to soak them. yeah which ones get soaked and mm-hmm. putting together a little i want to put it together a video to help you guys with the little spreadsheet that makes it easier it's real simple so I'll show you that one. The hard part is figuring out what days go in it for your environment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the tricky part, but that's your responsibility. Some people say something grows for eight days, so we're like 12 days into it, we're like, it's it not ready. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take that day. Yeah. That's 14 days for that. cilantro, not in my environment. It's 21 days to get cilantro. <laughs> yeah, because keep in mind, when we say we grew microgreens for us, it's, you know, peas, broccoli, sunflowers, wheatgrass, you know, so all the other seeds that we are adding, that's not something we had, we did have to purchase cool. and we did have to learn. I didn't to. write down what, I might just get up in the morning or she would, or whenever you felt like it, we'd just plant a few more. And when they came up, we'd cut them. Sometimes they were straggly, sometimes they were baby leaves. It wasn't a big deal to us at the time. No, it's it was different just when for we're us. Eating it. It's different yeah. when you're, you're putting together a consistent product for someone and being able to plan it so it's ready on time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, making sure it's quality. Yeah. You want it to look beautiful. Because mm-hmm. when I get when I grow a little tray and it's a little off, it doesn't matter to me, mm-hmm. you know. But then when the perfectionist, that's, that's good. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're like perfectionists. If you, like we we want it done. We want right. consistency. Yeah, yeah. We, want, we want it to be very very consistent. What we do, how we do it. So we have consistent results. Definitely want people to be happy. Absolutely. I don't want to hear anybody say anything about, uh, <laughs> this tray is not what I wanted. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no fun. Uh-uh. And um, the spreadsheet that he's working on, I do have to point out that it it's not only a spreadsheet, but he has set it up to where it'll send to his phone uh-huh. reminders. Um, hey, it's time to soak the seeds or hey, it's time to... Um, yeah, it's creating water um, the seed. automatically sending it to my calendar and my tasks, my Google tasks. So it's an awesome little spreadsheet. And um, it's nice to have those reminders because I can't imagine with uh, uh, as much as we could produce right now with just one rack. That alone would be overwhelming if you didn't have something telling you today, get up and do this, 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 and this. As you get up in the morning and start thinking about what needs to be done today, half the day is gone. And, <laughs> yeah. and the next day you realize that you didn't do something you're supposed to on time. So for me, I have to have that kind of organization. It takes a little time up front to set it up, but well worth it in the long run. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Highly recommend it. Um, but, you know, the goal is also to show you little tips, tricks, um, shortcuts, if you will, that not really shortcuts, but well, we're just to make things work. Yeah. Best. So you don't have to make that mistake on your own because it's cost, you know, so hopefully you can learn from us and um, not make any mistakes or less mistakes. Not saying so, we make a lot of mistakes, but if we do, we want to show them. You know, Absolutely. 
That's the well, goal. I mean, our combined talents. Yeah, with sales yeah. skills, photo skills, lighting skills, her web designing skills and people skills and organization skills and the desire, because that's important to make all of this happen. Well, yeah, we always loved our microgreens. So they actually bring a, a, such a high quality, high nutrient, something, a superfood to people. I mean, that feels good to, to know you're bringing something, something to produce. <laughs> produce, produce with purpose. Fresh. Oh, local. Pure. Oh, fresh. fresh pure. Local. Yeah. <laughs> she always does it backwards. I am backwards. <laughs> I am. Sometimes I do get that way. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. Oh, and yeah. so do y'all. Okay. Sometimes. <laughs> and we hope that um, you enjoy watching us grow. So when you subscribe to our channel, we're going to put out content at least every Thursday for you, going over topics like growing, cooking, and selling microgreens. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's coming up right now.